Mark Lenny with your video thought for the day. Well, as we roll into the weekend, can I be a little personal? Uh, I have had a great time this summer uh, growing my hair. I had lunch uh, with, a, actually it was breakfast, with a friend of mine recently, uh, Tom Wright. And Tom brought me this newspaper excerpt that had just come out. Do you have the full Daniel? That's Daniel Craig. And the excerpt talks about, uh, well, you can see the subtitle, the truth about middle-aged men who flaunt their hair. Now, first of all, I'm really honored to be called middle age because I'm 63, so I think I've kind of missed that boat unless I live to be 126, which, frankly, I don't see happening. But I read the article, and it talks about a lot of, you know, Daniel Craig's technically not middle aged either. He's like 56, so he's going to have to live to be 112. But anyway, it talks about a lot of, of men who are wearing this type of hair now. Uh, you've got uh, uh, all, all sorts of them are in here. Chris Hemsworth, Keith Urban, Javier Bardem, and others. Long hair. I, I wasn't growing mine to make that kind of statement. I was growing mine because I wanted to like get cast as a samurai a uh, jujitsu ninja warrior in some TV show. And so I had to grow mine out long enough to get that famous man bun. I finally got it. See, it's going to make me look like a samurai. Probably no chance. But I do like the idea of something that's visible standing for something else. I mean, go back and think about the Nazarite vow that people could take uh, under Jewish law. It's set out in Numbers chapter 6. And the Nazarite vow is one that says you don't cut your hair, even your facial hair, for a period of time out of a devotion to God. It's a, it's a symbol of dedication to God. Um, you know, Samson, the story of Samson in Judges 13 through 16 is a story of, of a man who was dedicated to God though he hardly lived it, uh, but part of his dedication was a lifetime Nazarite vow. Don't cut the hair. The hair was symbolic of his dedication to God and God's dedication to him. He cut his hair and uh, things literally fell apart for him. Um, I'm reminded, though, as a Christian of the way our identity in Christ is called to make us what Peter calls in 1 Peter 2, 9, a peculiar people. Um, we're a people for God's own possession. And, and the mark of a follower of God isn't so much at this point in time uh, getting the hair long enough to become a samurai. The mark of a follower of God should be the life that we live, a life of honesty, a life of compassion and caring, a life of diligence, a life uh, uh, willing to, to not only work hard, but knowing that with the benefits and, and the blessings of society come great responsibility. Uh, as Jesus said in Luke 12, to whom much is given, much is expected. Or as Peter Parker said in Spider-Man, um, uh, what, what was his Spider-Man line? Something along the lines of... Uh, uh, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, you know, we, we've got an opportunity as God's people to be set apart, not by some samurai man bun, but by the way we live and show others the love, compassion, caring, diligence, faithfulness, honesty, and compassion of our God. That's what I want to do this weekend, even if the hair goes. That makes this your video thought for the day.